Recall our example which used Metro EMS. The response time for a random sample of 40 medical emergencies were tabulated. The sample mean was 13.25. The population standard deviation is believed to be 3.2 minutes. The EMS director wants to perform a hypothesis test with a 5% level of significance to determine whether the service goal of 12 minutes or less is being achieved. First, we want to write down what we know. Sample mean x bar equals 13.25. The hypothesized population mean is equal to 12 minutes. That's the director's claim. The population standard deviation is assumed to be equal to 3.2 minutes. The sample size was 40, and the significance level we're using is 0 0.0500. Step one is to develop the hypothesis. Since the director wants to know if the service goal of 12 minutes or less is being achieved, the null hypothesis is population mean mu is less than or equal to 12 minutes, while alternative hypothesis is population mean mu is greater than 12 minutes. In step two, we compute the value of the test statistic. Since the sample mean x bar is equal to 13.25, the hypothesized value of population mean mu is equal to 12, the population standard deviation is equal to 3.2, and the sample size is 40, the z stat equals 2.47. In step three, we compute the critical value. The alternative hypothesis tells you that this is in an upper tail test. Since the significance level is 0 0.0500, we want to find critical, we want to find the critical value, z subscript 0 0.0500. Since the closest probabilities in the standard normal probability distribution table are 0.0505 and 0.0495, both are equally good approximations of 0.0500. These probabilities are in columns 0.04 and 05, and in row negative 1.6. Thus, there are two equally good approximations for the critical value, which are 1.64 and 1.65. When this happens, we average the two values. So you add 1.64 to 1.65, and you get 1.645 when you divide that sum by two. In step four, we determine whether the null hypothesis is rejected or not. Since the critical value is 1.645, we plot it on the number line. This value defines the reject the null hypothesis and the do not reject the null hypothesis regions. In addition, the area to the right of this line is equal to significance of 0.0500. Since the sample data yielded a z-stat equal to 2.47, it is plotted on the number line right of critical value 1.645. Hence, we can reject the null hypothesis at a 5% level of significance since the z-stat is greater than or equal to the critical value. This means, in English, there is a sufficient statistical evidence to infer that Metro EMS is not meeting the response goal of 12 minutes or less. In one tail test, the upper tail, or the lower tail, is equal to significance level alpha. In a two tail test, alpha needs to be divided in two because there are two tails. Two tail probabilities require two critical values, denoted negative z subscript alpha divided by two and z subscript alpha divided by two. Negative z subscript alpha divided by two is a number such that the probability of being less than it is equal to alpha divided by two. Z subscript alpha divided by two is a number such that the probability of being greater than it is equal to alpha divided by 2. 
In our new example, we're going to look at Coke bottle filling. The production line for Coke is designed to fill bottles with a mean of 16 ounces. Periodically, a sample of 30 bottles will be selected in order to check the filling process. Quality assurance procedures call for the continuation of the filling process if the sample results are consistent with the assumption that the mean filling weight for the population of Coke bottles is 16 ounces. Otherwise, the process will be stopped and adjusted. Compute the sample mean <clears throat> for the random sample of 30 Coke bottles. <clears throat> Perform a hypothesis test at the 5% level of significance to help determine whether the filling process should continue operating or be stopped and corrected. Assume the population standard deviation is believed to be 0.2 ounces. <clears throat> if there was enough room on this slide, this table would list the volumes of the 30 bottles that were randomly picked from the production line. Instead, it lists the volumes of the first seven and the last two bottles of the 30 bottle sample. The sum of the volumes in the 30 bo bottle sample equals 482.799 ounces. The sample mean is computed by summing the values of X, which we've already done, or the ounces of Coca-Cola in each bottle, and then dividing by the sample size. Since the sum is equal to 482.799 ounces, the sample size is equal to 30, the sample mean is equal to 16.0933 ounces. In step one, we determine the hypothesis. Since the filling process is continued, if sample results are consistent with the assumption that mean filling weight for the population of Coke bottles filled is 16 ounces, the null hypothesis is population mean mu is equal to 16 ounces, while the alternative hypothesis must be the population mean mu is not equal to 16 ounces. If the alternative hypothesis is true, the process should be adjusted. In step two, the test statistic is computed. Since we're assuming that sigma is known, we use a Z statistic. Since the sample mean X bar equals 16.09333, the hypothesized value of the population mean is 16, the population standard deviation is equal to 0.2, and the sample size is 30. Z stat is equal to 2.56. In step three, we determine the critical values. Since this is a two-tailed test with a significance level of 0 0.0500, alpha has to be divided by two which is equal to 0 0.0250. Negative Z subscript 0 0.0250 is found by finding 0 0.0250 in the standard normal probability distribution table, which is in row negative 1.9 and column 06. Thus, negative Z subscript 0 0.0250 is equal to a negative 1.96. And by symmetry, Z subscript 0 0.0250 is equal to 1.96. In step four, we determine whether the null hypothesis is rejected or not. Since the critical values are plus and minus 1.96, we plot them on the number line. These values define the reject the null hypothesis and the do not reject the null hypothesis regions. In addition, the area to the left of negative 1.96 is equal to half of the significance level, while the area to the right of 1.96 is equal to the other half of the significance level. Since the sample data yielded a z-stat equal to 2.56, it is plotted on the number line right of the critical value 1.96. Hence, we reject the null hypothesis at a 5% level of significance 
since the Z statistic is not between the two critical values. This means, in English, there is sufficient statistical evidence to infer that the, null, that the alternative hypothesis is true. That is, the mean filling weight is not 16 ounces. Thus, the production line needs to be shut down and adjusted 